Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today I do have a Saturday favorite shakedown for you. I know it's been a minute, but I have some thoughts about the Guess 1981 Los Angeles spray. So if you'd like to hear more about this, it's not a first impressions, notes, price, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, you can even become a member of this channel if you would like to. Just hit the join button down below, it's $4.99 a month, video is two days early, and when I get a few more subscribers, I will be doing twice monthly member only live streams. Okay, so all during Saturdays, during the month of June, we did skincare, so it's time to get back on the boat, the horse, whatever, when it comes to fragrances. So I did purchase this from Amazon, and it was around $5, but you get 8.4 fluid ounces. It's from Guess, which to me is, uh, you know, pretty good, right? But this is a floral fruity oriental scent. That's what it's kind of described as, but it's supposed to be like a girl in Los Angeles in like 1981. It's supposed to be like free spirit, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have to say, I love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. So, so nice. Love it. It's made in the USA and I like the cap. So it's a large cap, but then it does have like the smaller where it will actually go over the sprayer. It is a very fine mist. Like just a nice little cloud of fragrance. Um, I'll go and insert like after I'm done describing some of the notes, I'll go and insert like what they say the notes are top, middle, base. Um, but some of the notes are like red currant, jasmine, orange. Base notes are like... Um, musk, sandalwood, that kind of stuff. So it is very oriental smelling if you've ever tried an oriental fragrance. It definitely does smell like that with the red currant, the pear, jasmine, all that kind of stuff. I do think, I like this, don't get me wrong. I think it's a really, really nice fragrance. It's heavier. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like florientals just because they can be really heavy. They can kind of turn on me sometimes. This doesn't. But I'm usually more of a just like musk, um, you know what I mean? I'm not a huge fruity person. This does have quite a bit of fruity notes in it. I see this being good for someone that's older. Someone like me, someone that's like 25 and over. It's more of a mature scent. I would definitely say it's also could possibly be a unisex fragrance. It's on that borderline of being feminine and masculine, if you know what I mean. Really, really nice scent though. I think the price was decent. I really, really like this. I think it's something to look into if you like a heavier fragrance. Um, I have a doc, or Sean has a doctor's appointment later today. I'm actually on my lunch break, just took a shower. Um, but I do think that this is a nice fragrance for me. It would be more of an evening fragrance. Um, like I said, something about that floriental, it can be a little too heavy for me personally. But I think if you like a floriental fragrance, one that is a little bit heavier, one that is going to be sticking around for a long time, because this does stick around for a good long while, I think you'd really like the Guess 1981 Los Angeles. It's a cool fragrance, definitely different. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. And as you can see, I mean, I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I do like it. I think it's a really nice fragrance. It's just definitely going to be for a certain type of person. Someone that does like the fruity, the flora, florally oriental fragrances. If you know you like that type, you're going to like this. Um, I think it sits well on the skin. Um, it does mellow out a little bit. Um, the base notes, like with the um, musk and like the amber and stuff, it doesn't come out super strongly. I would probably like it better if it did, but I mean, it's not bad. Um, I would recommend it, um, and I think the price is right on. So if you are looking for a new fragrance, especially for evening, then yeah, I think that the Guess 1981 Los Angeles, I think it's gonna be perfect for somebody. But I forgot, let me go ahead and insert the notes right here. So here we go. Really nice notes, kind of like the backstory of what it's supposed to like be. Um, so I do like this and I recommend it. But yeah, I'll go in and link this down below for the people that do want to purchase this. You definitely don't have to. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link where I did get it off of Amazon, but it's there for ease of shopping. You don't have to if you don't want to, but 
there we go short and sweet today um, I hope you did enjoy today's video if you did go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite go-to summertime fragrance right now I would love to know down below in the comments and of course you are always more than welcome to follow me on my social media I have Facebook and Instagram and it is at budget glam babe don't go anywhere quite yet another video should start auto playing here very shortly or you can always click on all the ones that will be popping up around the screen but yeah I'll see you here in just a sec.